long time. Whew, okay. Hello again, it's been a while. Two weeks, actually. And I have a brand new video for you, and today is all about mining. And we have, like, ores and things. There's a bunch of cows and sheep. And I have lots to show you, so can't wait to show you. It's going to be a great day, great video, great, um... mining experience. So first off, we have the ores, like, and how large of chunks they come in. So, first off, we have the coal ore. So this can come in 11, like, chunks to 64 chunks underground. Sometimes it can be less due to, like, ores overlapping or something like dirt. But this is how much the world generation gets. So you get 11 to 64, which 64 is a lot of coal. And next we have iron, so you can get to from 4 to iron to 10 iron. Now again, this can be changed by world generation, like this being like cut off by like a different ore or something. But this, this is how ores spawn, so... Don't correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Next we have gold. So gold will come from 4 to 8 chunks. So, but in the Badlands, you can find it way more often. So you'll get more than just 8 in the Badlands or Mesa. Next we have diamond. So you can either get 1 diamond ore or 12 in each chunk, which is pretty good. And now we have emerald, which is... Which, which is just one. Like, one thing. Next we have redstone, which you can get four to eight. And lapis isn't here because, um, I couldn't figure that out. The Wikipedia page wouldn't tell me. So, and where do you find these ores, you might ask? Well, right here. In this little, like, thing I made. So, let's start with coal, shall we? So at level 132 and below, you can find coal. Anywhere above, you cannot find coal. Anywhere under, you can. So in like mountains or something, you can still find it on the surface, but this is like the max height. So this is all that you're going to find coal at. You cannot find coal way up in the sky. So that's level 132. And this line right here is one is not 100 is 52 and below so we'll find coal much more common under 52 or below so if you're looking for coal i suggest digging under this line okay now for iron so this line right here is level 68 and if you stay under level 68 you'll still be able to find iron but again if you're above that line you cannot find iron but under this line, which is level 54, you can find iron much more common than right here. So it's like just a little bit of space where it's less common. Now let's move on to gold. You can find gold at level 34 or lower, which is this line. And at level 29, which is right here and below, you'll find it much more common again. And Lapius, you can find at, well, the same height, which is why it looks like a, uh, like a police line or something. And below, you can still find Lapius. But it is more common under level 16, so that's this line right here. Okay, so now for diamond and redstone. You can find diamond and redstone at level... 16 and lower, but it is more common under level 12 and, well, basically just mine under level 12. But I suggest mining, like, right at the line, because you can kind of fall into lava, and it does happen quite often, so I suggest doing that. Now for emerald, which we kind of skipped a little bit. So emerald, you can find at level 33 or lower, and 
Dreams. It is more common under level 29, so 29 lower is where you find emeralds, but you can only find emeralds in the hill spine. You cannot find it anywhere else, literally anywhere else. You can only find emerald ore in the hills biome at level 33 or lower. It is more common under 29. Uh, that's about it. Okay, to the next thing. Okay, moving on. Now we have pickaxes. So we have the wooden one, the stone one, the gold one, the iron one, and the diamond one. So, these are the pickaxes you can make. The wooden, the wood one you make out of wood, stone one out of stone, gold, iron, diamond. Yeah, that's about it. And different pickaxes can mine different things. So like the wooden one right here can mine like coal. Actually, can only mine coal really, like ore. Well, it can mine stone, but the only ore can mine is coal. So that's about it for the wood one. Stone, you can mine iron and lapis lazuli. So Stone one is just a little bit better, and the rest of them you can just use an iron pickaxe. So, for all the ores, if you just want to get a bunch of ores, you can just use the iron one. I'm actually not sure about the gold one, actually. Okay, moving on. We have enchantments for pickaxes. So we have fortune, we have silk touch, and, well, we have fortune and silk touch. Right, so, first off, we have fortune... One, fortune two, and fortune three. So what fortune does is it times it by one more than the enchantment it is. So fortune one will make it so instead of getting one coal, you get times two, which would be two. And fortune two would be, or fortune two would be one times three, which would be three. And fortune three and a chain. And fortune three will get one times three times four, which would be four. Wow, that really hurt my head. So with fortune three, you can get four coal from one ore, thirty-two lapis from one ore, four diamonds from one ore, eight redstone dust from one ore, and four emeralds from one ore. Next we have silk touch. Now silk touch, instead of like getting like a bunch of things like this, like the coal and things, it will give you the actual ore. So it won't actually break the block. It will just like pick up the block, which is like the silky touch of the pickaxe. So hence why it's called silk touch. Okay, next we have unbreaking. So unbreaking is pretty simple. It just is basically the same as this, except different. So it's basically the same as this, except different. It's basically the same as this, except different. So I'm breaking is pretty simple. So an iron pickaxe will have 250 durability, and every time you break a block, every time you break a block, it will go one down one durability. But if you have them breaking, then, well, it's kind of like the same as the fortune. If you have one, it only has like half the chance of breaking. If it has a breaking two, then it has like a quarter of the chance. And if it has a breaking three, it has some other chance. I don't know. Next we have efficiency. So efficiency is like mining faster. So this pickaxe will mine this fast. This one will be that fast, a little bit faster, faster, and really fast. So, efficiency will come in five different levels. Level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and level 5. The best is level 5, obviously, because who doesn't want extra efficiency on their pickaxe? Or speed. Basically, what I'm saying is efficiency means faster. Next, we have mending. So, here I have an iron pickaxe that only has... A little bit more durability, and it's about to break. But since I have mending, I can put this in my offhand and collect some experience. And you can see it, and now it is completely re-mended. So, mending will repair your pickaxe. 
So even if it just has one more durability, this thing will fix it for you. Mending is by far the best enchantment. It's also the most difficult to get, which is um. So definitely get mending on your pickaxe. It's by far the best one. It's better than like efficiency or any other. Okay. Now we're done with looking at all the funny business with all the breaking and enchantments and ores. Now we have the good stuff. We have the best pickaxes in Minecraft. So, these are the two best pickaxes you can get in Minecraft. There is the one with Silk Touch and the one with Fortune, which we covered over there. And it has efficiency 5, um, breaking 3, mending. So those are the three enchantments you need. And then just get fortune or silk touch. And put it on diamond. And you have the best pickaxe in Minecraft. And it's raining. Okay, now it's time to look at mining and how you should mine. So here I have a little mine kind of thing. And this is called branch mining. So branch mining is when you just dig some forward for about three blocks and then go this way five. So just break all the way to five until you can't break anymore. And this is how you should mine. So this is branch mining. It is very effective and you get tons of stuff. So here we got a bunch of coal, some iron, we have some cobblestone, and just like going for a little bit, you already get tons of stuff, so definitely branch mining. Branch mining is definitely one of the best kinds of mining. Moving on. Now this is definitely something that you probably have never heard of. It's called, well, I call it swim mining, but I don't know the official name, but anyway. So let's just call it swim mining. So swim mining is when you go like this and go by a go through a one by one hole in the ground. So the reason is this is super effective is because every time you break a block, you get one, two, three, four, five new blocks uncovered. Every time. Every single time you get five new blocks to look at. So this is why this is the most effective mining in Minecraft. So I just showed you the two best mining in Minecraft. This is, well, the best. This is the best way to mine. I mean, I do it on my survival world, and I have over a stack of diamond blocks. Like, that's pretty insane. So, yeah, swim mining. Best mining. And that is this video done, so hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was a little bit short. I haven't been making videos recently due to Christmas, and Christmas time can get a little busy. So, that is the reason I haven't been uploading as much, so I'm sorry. I hope you liked the video. If you did, press the like button, subscribe if you want to watch more videos, hit the bell to get notified, and comment on the comment in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye. That sheep looks like.